What's going on, guys and gals? Um, I know Christmas shopping, the whole ho shopping holiday is coming up, and I figured make a video trying to show you guys some tips and tricks to maybe help you guys save a little bit of money. I know there's things like Black Friday coming up, Burgundy Saturday, Yellow Sunday, Cyber Monday, Reality, <laughs> Reality Tuesday, <laughs> Dreamland Wednesday. <laughs> All sorts of crazy names. There's only two of them that's real. You guys haven't figured it out. Anyways, back to the point. Um, you guys are going to do a lot of shopping. So here's the first tip. I would say you guys have to plan what you guys truly want. Uh, if you're not planning uh, what you want, like let's say I'm going to get uh, this kid a PS5, the other kid a Nintendo Switch, or uh, this kid a, a little doll or whatever it is. You guys are going to get caught up in the sales. You guys go in, oh, you know, this one's on sale. This one's a discount. The next shiny thing that you guys see, you're going to be really interested in. So first thing, first tip, plan. Make a list of what you guys truly want, which leads to the second tip. Uh, justify the price that you're willing to pay. So um, if you guys think it's too expensive, you're going to regret that purchase later on. You have to justify, oh, you know, the Nintendo Switch is worth about $350. That's what everyone is selling for. Do I want to wait until the next console comes out or when it goes on a discount or you get some kind of sales? Um, yeah, justify that. So that way, once you purchase it, that's it. You don't realize, hey, you know, later on, oh, I bought it too expensive or anything like that. So justify it. Don't have any guilt afterwards. And that leads us to tip number three. Three? Yeah, three. All right. Um, it's shop around. Uh, not every place has the same price. Uh, I'm going to show you some examples. Um, even if when you search online, I saw this perfect example of the Nintendo Switch that I was talking about. Um, I'm gonna, it's going to be a side-to-side -side comparison, which I'm going to put up about now. Uh, you're going to see the huge dramatic difference between Walmart and Target. Uh, and they're both selling just the system. That's it. No, no bundles or anything like that. Uh, so you guys are going to see. So shopping around, it's going to save you a lot of money. But you're going to have to do a little diligence, your due diligence. It's going to take a little more time. But, you know, it's going to save you some money. So I'm going to leave you with that, that example. Um, the leads us to number four, tip number four. I don't have that many tips. I want to make tips that truly matters. Um, tip number four is don't get fooled. Okay. And what do I mean by that? Is I used to work in retail. Uh, um, so what we would do, and most people don't tell you guys this, is that right before the holidays, you know, the sales, the winter seasons and everything. We have these quote-unquote sales for you guys where you guys get 50% off, 90% off. But the 90% off and all those other ones, it's because it's not one, it's not selling anyways, right? So clearly they want to just get rid of the items that's not selling. So just to make even uh, uh, t make some kind of return instead of taking it as a loss. So they might not take any profit, but they're trying to minimize loss. Uh, number two, for the items that do sell or makes a little bit money. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm talking about this. I might get, <laughs> hopefully I don't get in trouble for this. Anyways, number, uh, number two on that point is that what they would do is they would jack up the price. So if something that's worth like $50, instead of selling for regular price at $50, we would jack up the price to $100 and then give you a 50% discount sale for $50, which is original price. But people don't justify that, oh, this pair of jeans is only worth $50 and that's what you would have bought. But at regular price, you wouldn't have bought it at $50. But now the mentality of people is that, oh my goodness. <laughs> It's on sale, 50%? I say $50? <laughs> they don't do their research. Have they seen it and did their research that they really realize, hey, you're not saving $50. Had you look at the same 
pair of jeans a day before it was listed as fifty dollars you guys aren't saving anything all right so people don't see that they see that that you get the 50 percent and it works if it doesn't work on the human psychology and the mentality of it sales retail sales wouldn't be trying to do all these uh tactics to do it First thing you guys see, you guys see this red sign, juicy red or yellow, some kind of flashy sign that catches your attention. And then it makes you justify, oh, you're getting this much, you're saving this much. But in reality, you're not saving anything if you weren't doing your research. So, yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. And I'm going to show you a perfect case of uh, an example of my SD. I'm trying to buy uh, an SD card. Um, before Black Friday, I took, I looked it up um, through Amazon, and I took a picture of it. Literally one day before, you're gonna see that it's being sold for nineteen dollars, and then after right now, which is Black Friday, um, it's gonna show you Black Friday sale. It's gonna show you it jacked up the price. And then it brought it down, <laughs> it brought it down back to $19, the original price. You're not saving anything, guys. So remember that next time you go shopping, I'm going to reiterate uh, the, the three, the four tips to hopefully make you guys grind this, save you guys money. That's what this channel is about. Save you guys money so you can take that money, reinvest it, make more money. You got to make that money work for you guys, okay? So number one, plan. Don't just go in there and just don't have a list of what you guys uh, want to buy. Make sure you guys get exactly what you want. That you uh, number two, justify the price. That after you're willing to, uh, you say it's okay. That you're okay with the price. Don't feel guilty afterwards because then you've already justified it's going to be worth it for your kids or whoever you're purchasing for for you whatever it is uh, number three shop around uh, not every store is going to have the same price um, online is the easiest one search multiple sites it doesn't take that long you know it takes a little more time but it's better than you driving around doing all that and then just to get pretty much screwed uh, number four don't get fooled by the sales. Don't get attracted, you know, by the shiny flashing sign to white and red, white, yellow, whatever it is that catches your attention. Do your research. Um, make sure you justify the purchases and make the purchase. And then once you're done, that's it. Hopefully those tips help. Uh, I will catch you guys next time. Until then, you guys take care. Have a good one.